Welcome to Phoenix Point, folks. I'm an early old gamer, or Nog for short. And since Phoenix Point is coming out in a couple of weeks, I think two and a half weeks or something like that, I figured it was a good time to give it a look-see on the backer build, which I've had for quite a while, uh, but I haven't really played that much. But I figured let's get into it, learn the game mechanics a little bit, uh, get a feel for the game before the full release comes out on i believe the third of december is the plan right now and yeah just try it out get a feel for it so that we are prepared for the full release so let's jump into a new game i think we'll go with the standard difficulty here in our warm-up game and we'll leave the tutorial on and start a game. So, Phoenix Point is a turn-based uh, shooter, you might say. Uh, you have a squad, a squad that you go out and attack areas with. Uh, you have uh, your own base or bases. I'm not actually sure about that one. And you have the whole world uh, which you are operating in. So it's it's kind of a it's similar to XCOM or something like that, I'd say. So let's see what they have to say here. The old world is no more. The Arctic permafrost has melted, unleashing a deadly virus, claiming billions of lives and causing billions more to mutate into mindless abominations. The remaining survivors have gathered together in havens throughout the world, hoping the infection won't reach them there. We are the Phoenix Project, all that is left of an organization dedicated to ensuring humanity's survival. It is time to rise from the ashes. Cool. All right, so the Geoscape. The Geoscape represents the current world and all known locations. You can access it at any time by clicking on the Geoscape tab. Rotate, globe, hold left mouse button and drag, zoom in out, mouse wheel. Sounds easy enough. Okay. The Manticore. The Manticore is your transport aircraft. The crew of the Manticore is displayed in the aircraft panel below. Center on aircraft, middle mouse button, or click on the aircraft image. Yes, that's that one. All right. Navigation. To move left, to move, left click on a location on the globe, then select the move action. The orange circle shows your maximum movement range. Okay. That seems simple enough. Let's have a look around the world here. Really like this map. That is gorgeous. That is a beautiful map. And we can zoom in and out. All right. And what do we have here? Phoenix Point, Soldier Zero unexplored site and unexplored site and that's basically all we know right now so let's have a look here no active missions are available at the time okay fine manticore okay so what do we need to do here we have the research that is blinking we have the geoscape we paused we have some stuff up here so tech resource for building high-tech stuff the materials general construction materials i guess that's food yeah feeding the soldiers soldiers recruited living quarters capacity so we have five out of eight vehicles owned and capacity aircraft and stores used space capacity okay Ooh. all right so what do we do here I guess time options okay time is required for soldiers to heal and facilities to be built time only passes while in the geoscape view pause unpause spacebar increase decrease time speed plus minus keys okay fair enough so let's unpause and go to research I can't click there for some reason even though it's blinking the geoscape can I Let's move over there then. 
Okay. Let's uh, see. Resources and exploration. Exploration sites with a question mark may contain valuable resources or another Phoenix base. Left click on exploration site and ex select explore. Exploration takes time and you may get ambushed. Okay. Let's explore. See what happens. Okay. Scavenging site. Eliminate all enemies to claim the resource crates. Threat level low, light level night, enemy, and door and whatever that. Okay, let's start the mission. When faction relations reach 75, we become allied, and that faction's full research something. Okay, I apparently don't have time to read all of it, so <laughs> I won't try. Because that's just annoying to listen to. Well, this one is staying for a bit longer. Let's try it again. Carrying a handgun can be life-saving when you arm, your arm has been disabled in battle. Double-handed double weapons require two hands to operate. Okay. Pretty cool-looking armor there. All right. Phoenix forces. Okay. So we are... Ready for a skirmish here. So what do we have here? We have Gabriel Van Dijk. We have Finn Chishimba. Kurt Marinoff. Rajan Bakutwo. And Kinga Amao. Alright. So this guy has... How do we see their inventory? So... L2 cannon magazine, L2 cannon, and a medkit. Okay. Oh, it cost an action point. Okay. So I shouldn't have done that. Fair enough. We'll figure it out as we go along. Let's see. We have, I guess this costs one action point, and this is a sprint or something. So I think we're going to have to sprint here. Got it. Let's move over there. And see okay we can still move we still have action points 2.2 uh, left of four so this guy has a sniper rifle it looks like I'm so we'll see. leave him there for now because he can shoot far right so it seems here we use probably two action points and then three and then four okay that makes sense okay so let's run over there have a look yeah so he has 1.5 left now okay wow this guy can run a long way it seems roger let's run up here get some cover and you let's just run as far as we can more or less oh he still has one action point left and you can no cover over there Kind of sucks, but we haven't seen anything yet, so Relocate. let's come up here and see what's going on. Okay, so can I overwatch or something? Yes, overwatch, but it takes two action points, so I can't. Let's, so let's just move over there. You can... That costs three action points. That's probably because he's a sniper. So let's just move up. No point in sitting back there. And move up. And oh, there's an ex exit point there, I guess. And there's something. It looks like aliens or something. Alien enter points. Okay. So can we? Let's just space and you. Oh, space. Let's let's end the turn here and see if some Pandorans come our way. They did. What? Whatever that thing is. Okay. So it's our turn. 
and you can actually see it. So let's say Overwatch fire weapon and T zoom in. Okay, so I can aim here. That's pretty cool. Let's try taking this shot. Nice, 80 damage. Alright, and he can fire again. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, but he's dead, so it's fine. Alright, so let's move up. Here, I think. And overwatch this way. I'll keep my eyes open. And then you can come up here. That doesn't leave him with enough to overwatch, so we'll just space bar and buy. You can get up there, but what's the point? Let's come over here. And he can't overwatch either, so stand by. And then we can send someone up here. And overwatch. I think this way. All right. So we we took down the first alien we saw, which is nice. So and I think if we come over I'm here, going. we might be able to pick up some of his stuff. Uh, no, there's nothing there. But what was that? Okay, there's something up there that we want. How do we get up there? Right, let's move up there. He can't. Why not? Alright, well then, come over here and see if there is something on the ground. No. Where is this guy? I thought I would have thought he was there, but there wasn't anything on the ground here. But maybe, maybe there isn't anything that we can get, pick up. So, so that's why. Can we get up there somehow? Yes, we can. So we got some Ares AR-1 magazines, okay. I suppose we will stick that in there. And that's it. Did we get it? No, we didn't. Encumbrance, 15 of 20, okay. So that's fine. So how do I get out of this? Did he get it now? Ah, but it's because we don't have enough action points to pick it up. Okay, fine. We'll do it next round then. Right, let's see. We'll... I think we're gonna come over here. Moving up. And stand by. You... I'd like to get you some kind of cover. Easy enough. Can you spot it? Where? There. Okay. We can't actually fire or anything, uh, can we, with that one? Yes, we can. Can we hit? Hmm. Let's try. Yes, we could hit. All right, so you can see him too. But let's move over here into Shake some it, cover. And then, uh, let's see, fire weapon. And what do we want to aim for? Heavy leg, torso. Let's aim for the torso. Nice. Good hit. 
and he can't do it again, which is unfortunate. What's this? That's an Odin grenade, whatever that is. But we don't have enough action points for anything, so let's stand by. You can't see him. But you can if you come over here. Moving up. And you can't fire, darn it. And you can't stand by or uh, overwatch. This really sucks. Uh, stand by. Let's hope he doesn't do something mean to us. Oh, he didn't. Okay, so he... Oh, what's that? What is that nasty? Let's move over here. And... Fire weapon. Uh, zoom in. I wonder if we can hit him. Try. I don't miss. Dang it. Mm, let's try again. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. OT. Alright. Alright, his shield is down, it looks like. Maybe, or did we hit behind him? I think maybe we hit behind him. And by you. What if we moved over here? Yeah, he can't fire. And he can't overwatch. She has 1.9. Darn it! Alright, then let's reroll, reload. And I guess stand by. Now you, you can't see any of them. Let's move up here. And this one is really close. So, why can't he? Plus three action points. Crap. All right. And by, you need to uh, grab this ammo. Did you get it now? Yes, you did. All right. And then you can... Uh, actually, I think I want to fire on that one because that one is really close. Or so. Leg. Yes. Right, we hit it. Can we fire again? Nope. So I guess he's standing by. And there's this guy. He can move over oh, yeah. here. And then he can. He could try and shoot something, but I think I'd rather overwatch this way. And see if we can't hit something that moves. Hey, he was overwatched! What the? It attached to its face, it's like aliens! That is nasty! Okay, you. Mm, I want that thing. I'm not really sure about what to do about the other thing. Oh, he's bleeding. Is he bleeding? If so... We can't see if he is bleeding. Darn it. Alright, then we're then we're shooting him. Let's have a look. Actually, we'll use the sniper rifle. <laughs> Do we wanna shoot through this? Let's try it. Alright, we took it out. 
and it, we didn't hurt our other guy. Well, that's great. And then... Inside. Nice! That was two kills right there. Is there... What are these things, I wonder? Should we try and... Easy move over enough. next to one and see if there's something we can do with it? Uh, it doesn't... Seem like it. But there's something up here. That's also one of those things. Is, is it something? No. No, it doesn't seem, seem like it's something. But, I mean, we found that one crate. Is that all there is on this map? I wonder. Let's have a bit of a look around and find out. Oh, he's bought an enemy there, but he is out of action points, so he'll stand by. You, can you see him from up there? You can. Interesting. Let's have a look. Well, that shield is in the way. Let's try for the arm. Missed. All right, then let's just reload. And... Easy. Let's come down here. And we have this guy. He can Already come up there. here. And... You know what, let's overwatch. Nothing will get past me. I hope this guy comes closer. I mean, the Overwatch watch doesn't seem to do anything. It might be broken. Hey, what? Something got damaged over there. I wonder how... Why that got damaged. Okay. Yes. You. What does it cost to fire your weapon too? Uh, Insights. Let's go for the head. Thirty damage. Okay. Okay. You come up here. He has 1.8 action points, so he can fire his gun, but not his sniper rifle. Whoa. Why can't we... If we do T, then I can't see a darn thing. Alright, just, just fire then. Was that thing in the way, maybe? Could be. All right, we can't do anything more there. You are... You really suck, you can't move anything. Well... That was a warning shot. That wasn't... I didn't ask you to give him a warning shot. So, this costs a bit over one, which means that... He will be able to fire. Mm. No. Dang it. I don't get that. That costs two. Whoops. Alright, well, I guess he's standing by. And the Overwatch doesn't seem to do a damn thing. So this guy will just, I think he'll just come out in the open. And fire on that guy. Ah, oh, he won't be able to hit a thing. 
Yes. Right, there comes another one. We need to flank these guys. And another one, which is attacking something. And I'm not really sure what is. Okay. So, you. Fire your weapon. Let's hit the torso. Nice. He's down. Let's hit the arm. Nice. And he's bleeding. And we have this guy here who has his shield out. Not a problem. You'll come up here. And just reload. And by you can actually fire on this guy. Hmm. Eh. We won't hit. This costs a bit over two. Ah, so this is Okay, so it shows how much he has left, not how much. Okay, so he'll have two left. He needs three to fire his weapon. So if we do this, he still won't. Let's just reload. He still won't hit. And stand by. You switch over to... Th actually, let's try the grenade. How far can we throw this thing? Not very far. Okay. And how much does it cost? Two action points. So if we move... Up here. We still have two action points. This? And we can toss our grenade. Let's try it. Nice. And stand by. You you only cost two action points to shoot. So you can Easy come up enough. here. Uh, fire. Sure right in the face. Nice. Alright, he lost an arm. <laughs> And he's bleeding. He only has 10 health left. Did we win? We won! Okay. Kill all enemies, 200. Crate protected, 9 to 9. 200. General mission experience, 100. Kill points pool, 5. Mm, soldiers. So he got 2 kills. He got 3 kills. 1, 1, 1. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's the level. I'm not actually sure what that means. I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Kinga didn't get any experience whatsoever. But we did level up two of our guys. So that's pretty good. All right. By the way, let me know if the sound volume is too high or too low or, or something. Uh, it's always good to have someone else hearing it and giving some feedback. So, all right, let's see. Scavenging site cleared. All servant surviving crates have been recovered and resources transferred to our stores. Resources recovered. 20 these thing, high tech thing, and 350 construction materials. No items recovered. Okay. Mission rewards and items. On completing mission, all gathered items and resources are added to your overall supplies. You can re-equip the members of your squad with new weapons you have gathered at any time by left-clicking on the personnel tab. You can also access squad members by clicking the crew icons in the Manticore panel. Okay. Personnel. Alright, so we have these guys. We have two of them leveled up. So Kinga is our heavy weapons guy. 
And Gabriel is our sniper. Finn is, I guess, just a regular trooper of some sort. So is Kurt and Brajan as well. All right. So we have level ups here. So let's see, how do we do that? Okay, I double clicked here. Equipment and inventory. You can equip your soldiers with new weapons and armor by dragging available equipment from the stores onto the appropriate slots in the inventory section. Items in the ready section are available for instant use at the start of a mission. Mount items can only be attached to their corresponding piece of armor. Okay. We have some magazines. And some Odin grenades. Med kits. Okay, so what is his weapon? It's a Firebird SR. He has one Firebird SR magazine and one Cypher HG magazine, which I guess is the handgun. Yes. And he has some armor, a Banshee helmet, Banshee body armor, and Banshee leg armor. Okay. So, equipment, armor, mounts, all. What's this stuff? Toggle class filter, okay. So he is a sniper, yeah. Alright, but how do we level him up? Training? Training and leveling. Soldiers can increase stats or acquire new abilities by spending... Oh, there's a bit of an error there. New abilities by spending, by spending skill points, SPs. Only abilities of the soldier's level or lower can be acquired. Soldiers can gain the ability to acquire second class at level 4. Doing so provides them access to all skills and abilities of the new class. Cool. So he is... Oh, Kinga is... Not Kinga we want because he didn't level up. Great, Gabriel leveled up. So if we look here, Kinga he's here and... Everything is grayed out. If we move over to Gabriel, then he has this one, and I suppose we have soldier skill points 50, Phoenix skill points 15. Okay. So skill point cost 10. Assault rifle precisions proficiency. No, I think I want to keep him with the sniper rifle. So I guess we'll take that even though it seems like it doesn't work and that used some of his skill points uh, what about can we we can increase this stuff I guess so let's okay let's try this okay actually his speed isn't the most important is it so it costs 8 skill points, 11 skill points. So we were here, right? Yeah, so we were there. So I think I'll increase his willpower a bit. And his strength. Alright. And then we have... Finn, he did not level up. Kurt, he leveled up. Nope. Brayden, he leveled up. 100 skill points. Nice. Wow, he leveled up to level 3. Cool. Right, dash, move to a target position at up to 50% of the maximum movement range. Okay. Grenade proficiency, proficiency with grenades at plus 10% range. Return fire, shoot back at an enemy that attacks an ally within perception range. Not applicable for mounted or explosive weapons. Expert thrower, thrower at plus 50% distance. So I kind of like the grenade thing. Kind of like the grenade thing. I'll grab those. And then we will give him some willpower. Look at that. He still has 40, even though we gave him that. And we'll give him some speed as well, because he was 
terribly slow. Or was that him? No, it wasn't. He has nine skill points left. We can give him one more speed, and that's beautiful. It was this guy who was terribly slow, I think. So 14, 14, 14, 14, 19. Okay, so it seems like they're all the same by default. Okay, that's fine. And by the way, I think we can. I'll just rename him the same, yeah. We can rename our guys. So if you want your name in the game, let me know and I will stick it in if there's room. All right. So that's personnel. We cannot go to research for whatever reason. It's blinking, but we can't go there. Let's move over here. Go back to missions. Okay. So let's go over here. Or. Right, another scavenging site. But we are going to scavenge that in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are excited about the game. I really, really am. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.